We begin tonight as a Guantanamo Bay detainee is suing two former Spokane psychologists. He's accusing them of torture using a program they developed for the CIA. New at 6 tonight, Krem2 Shannon Mowdy is breaking down the lawsuit and its ties to our area. Shannon? Attorneys say James Mitchell and John Jessen, psychologists who contracted with the CIA, weren't qualified to interrogate detainees. Yet a new lawsuit says they designed and personally administered such a program based in part on training they used at Fairchild Air Force Base. Abu Zubeda, who has been held at Guantanamo since 2006 but never charged, says two psychologists tortured and experimented on him. Zubeda was captured in March 2002, thought to be a high-level Al-Qaeda member. By the next month, psychologists James Mitchell and John Jessen were involved in his interrogations, contracted by the CIA using a program they developed and sometimes personally administered. In a complaint filed in Spokane's federal court Monday, Zubeda's attorneys say these enhanced interrogation techniques were experimental and ineffective. They included things like isolation, placing Zubeda in a coffin-like box for extended periods, and waterboarding. The lawsuit claims neither Mitchell nor Jessen were qualified to design a proper interrogation program and had no knowledge of Al-Qaeda. Their techniques were based on survival and resistance training they'd given at Fairchild Air Force Base. A 2014 Senate subcommittee found such techniques used on many other Guantanamo detainees were not effective at getting intelligence or cooperation. Jessen and Mitchell have been sued over their interrogation tactics before. A 2015 ACLU lawsuit brought by three former detainees settled for an undisclosed amount. Zubeda accuses the two psychologists of torture, non-consensual experimentation, and war crimes. He claims he has lifelong mental and physical issues from the torture, including the loss of one of his eyes and partial amnesia. He's asking for a jury trial and compensation. Now, I did reach Zabeda's attorneys, including Jeffrey Finer here in Spokane. They were not ready to comment on the case. Shannon Mowdy, Krem2 News.